What's going on everyone and a special hello to Team TMO out there. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 Android applications. Now I do have a special guest in this particular episode. I teamed up with my good friend Zachary Anderson, aka EasyTech231. You can check out his channel, it's going to be linked down below as well as within the video. Be sure to subscribe to him. But basically what we did is take our top 5 apps that we're using right now and enjoying and combine them into this list. So if you're excited about this collaboration, make sure you let us know by hitting that like button down below. And without any further ado, let's talk. So my very first app is more like a productivity app known as Long Screenshot. So never again do you have to snap screen after screen for those documents that you need to keep that happen to be longer than a page. This app is gonna save you from that tedious task by creating long screenshots. And it's really simple and at the same time very useful. So all you have to do is launch the application, hit the plus button, and then navigate to the screen in which you wanna capture a long screenshot of. Simply hit the floating icon that's now in the bottom right so it can begin capturing. And then all you have to do is scroll until you reach the end of what you need and press the icon again to stop. Then you just fire up the long screenshot app and it will be in there waiting for you, ready to be shared via whatever method you so choose. Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. The second application on hand is the Erza Icon Pack. This pack comes with over 1300 different icons. The collection is growing on a weekly basis and it's got 20 excellent looking wallpapers to go along with them. The icons themselves are very unique, they're well made, they're vibrant, and they're sure to give your setup a nice pop. Pop. Coming in next, I have Journey. And this is basically like a diary journal. So it's gonna allow you to track those precious moments in your life. And yes, you can password protect it so you can keep things nice and secure. So you can easily record your daily events, your gratitude, secrets, and relive moments all via this one application. It's really easy to add an entry. All you have to do is hit the plus symbol in the bottom right and then jot down whatever you would like to archive and easily tag your location, the weather, a picture, or you can add your current action to it as well. That's gonna allow you to further remember what you were actually doing and where you were at that exact moment you wrote that entry. You can even change your view and just take a look at the photos in which you have added to your journal entries. Or you can find entries by geotags. Now I'm really looking forward myself to archiving my memories via this application for just a little bit of reflection later. And I felt like some of you out there might be able to relate, so I felt like it was worthy of putting it on the list. Next app on hand is Soul Supplier. If you're a sneakerhead, you will love this one because it brings together your favorite brands like Adidas, Nike, Jordan, and a lot more into one app. It shows you when new kicks are going to be released least, it shows you their prices and where they're in stock. You can save your favorite shoes for later and if a pair you want is out of stock, you can set the app to remind you when they're back in stock. If you know others that would enjoy the pair of shoes that you're looking at, the application does have a built-in sharing function so you can keep them up to date on the latest kicks as well. The app itself has a nice, clean, and easy to navigate user interface and again, if you're a sneakerhead or you just want to see when that great looking pair of shoes will be released, get this app now. Now for all of my photo editors out there, Pixlr is the app you have to have. So this is one of the best free photo editing apps out there to me with tons of options that are really easy to access and use. So all of the things you can really do are going to be located at the bottom of the screen. And each of these things will reveal a number of other things that you can do, such as your tools option here, which is going to unlock the ability to add image blur, sharpen, or heal things. You also have your brushes, which is going to let you brush to brighten specific areas or darken specific areas, or even pixelate things. Things. Overlays can also be applied or frames and even text. So a lot of advanced features and a very simple interface to take your pictures to that next level. Next up, we've got Lupine. This here is a pretty basic, straightforward, timing-based puzzle game. The concept here is simple. You've got these lines moving along their respective grids, and the objective here is to help them avoid contact with one another. Keep them synced up long enough, then it's on to the next puzzle. The graphics here are very solid, and the whole experience is pretty relaxing, with neat sound effects and some pretty chill background music. This is a very unique game that presents a nice challenge for those of you that enjoy that and are just looking to pass some time. Try it out. Now, some of you may have noticed on my home screen that I had some text in the very bottom right that said tech me out. And if you're curious how I got there, that was basically added with this widget known as simple text widget. Now, I really like this application because it's gonna allow you to add a few words to your home screen, especially when you're customizing things and you wanna indicate a certain area of your phone or just add your creative touch. But you have a few things in which you can adjust such as the font face, 
space, color, and the size of your text. Plus you can add a tap action so that when the text widget is selected, it's actually gonna fire up another application. So if you really wanted to get creative and invest some time and energy, then you could actually make like a layout that is made up of simple text widgets where the words are the app and fire up the application when you tap on it. So instead of having app icons to launch the app, you'll basically have text widgets. Hopefully you can picture what I'm saying, but if not, maybe I will actually bring this to light one day. <laughs> Eighth app on the list is the Never Settle Wallpaper Collection. This app is filled with 1080p wallpapers with that Never Settle slogan slapped on top. Wall types include nature, you've got cityscape, landscape, minimal, colorful, and much more. The app itself is nicely put together, complete with material design. There's a dark theme, which is nice, and there's Musee support as well. I actually really do like this application. It's updated with new walls on a regular basis. There are no ads, and it'll be making its way into my growing folder of wallpaper apps. I think you guys will get a kick out of this one. So for my team Amazon shoppers, this application is just for you. It is known as Canopy, and if you find yourself down a rabbit hole of products on Amazon like myself, then this app is definitely a must have. So you basically have three options at the top, trending, most popular, and new. Under each tab, you can explore a bunch of crazy good finds on Amazon and either add it to your collection or favorite it. But if you wanna go ahead and make that purchase, then all you have to do is tap the option that displays the price and it instantly launches up Amazon so you can go ahead and buy it. You can even view things by categories in the event you wanna narrow down your search just a bit more. Now I'm absolutely loving this application because now I no longer have to go through these random searches on Amazon when I have an app with a curated good list that does it for me. Last app on hand is Forecaster. There are tons of weather apps on the Play Store and a lot of those are loaded with crazy features and sometimes things a lot of people just don't care about. This app on the other hand likes to keep things simple. You've got local weather alerts, you've got current weather conditions, you've got precipitation levels, and you've also got a quick look at the weather for the next week. And as you can tell, the application does have a very clean UI and it's sure to keep minimalists happy. There's a dark theme and there's also an auto mode, so the application will switch between the dark and light mode depending on the time of the day. And there are also a number of widgets that you can toss on your home screen. They look pretty nice. And overall, this is one of the better simplistic weather applications out there, and I definitely recommend it. Now this list does not stop here as it continues on on Easy Text channel, so be sure to check out that video. I'm gonna link it somewhere within this video as well as the description box. Please be sure to show him some love on his channel by hitting that subscribe and like button when you get there. But for the next episode of this series, what I wanna do is compile a list list of apps from the ones you all recommend. So go ahead and spam me down in the comments section with apps in which you want me to check out and those in which I select, I'll be sure to mention you within the video. But that's gonna do it for this one. So as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.